There's always a question asked, how do you actually use the Quiet Punch? My name is Brian Padone. I'm the owner and founder of Quiet Punch. I'm gonna demo some of the punches on the bag itself. You could notice here, we've got the top and the bottom bar. It's more like a double end bag. So if you know what that is, you already know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then imagine like a bag you see at a gym, like a big heavy bag. This one is not like that. So it actually has a little rhythm to it. So you have to practice your rhythm. It's gonna take a little bit of timing, a little bit of practice to get it just right, all right? So you're not just gonna come up, be able to bash it. It does take really good force, but it's all about the timing, all right? So the jab, very simple. It's kind of built for ones and twos. So the straight shots, as you can see, we've got a jab here. Notice I have a nice snap on my jab. Notice the rhythm that I get from the bag, right? So I hit the jab, the bag moves forward and backward. So that's your jab. We have the cross, which is the two. Same idea, straight punches, so there's no questions asked. So it's the one and the two. Notice with the two, I can still get the power that I want. The bag will take it. It takes the force perfectly. And the hand comes back to the face. So we have the one and the two really simple punches. So one, two. Notice the rhythm of the bag. If you try and go too fast, where you're not getting the right timing, the bag will not be friendly for you. So it's the one, two. Notice I'm getting the rhythm. And this translates over beautifully if you get it right. All right, so now the questions are obviously the hooks and the uppercuts. People ask this all the time. How do you throw hooks? How do you throw uppercuts? If you think of a traditional heavy bag, all right, especially the uppercut, there is no clean way to hit the uppercut. That's why they have an uppercut bag or a wrecking ball or you've seen some like teardrop bags where there's actually a bottom or an underneath to hit, all right? So a heavy bag, typically long, cylindrical, there is no clean way. So you still have to have a little angle to it, you can't get it right underneath. Similar to the quiet punch, right? Same idea, I'm still gonna hit the center of the bag, so think of it like a double end ball. All right, so I'm still gonna get the angle. Notice the angle I'm throwing, I'm standing to the side so you can see the punch. Notice I still have the upward motion, all right? I'm hitting the center of the bag. Don't worry about your wrist, you always wanna keep your wrist straight, but especially on the quiet punch, just like a double end ball, there's not much force behind it, so you're not gonna hurt yourself. Notice, I come up and underneath, just like a traditional uppercut. I do modify just a tiny bit, so I make sure that I'm still hitting with my two big knuckles on the back, all right? Again, right in the center. Notice the rhythm. One more. So it's totally easy to hit the uppercuts, both the five and the six. So the lead uppercut and the rear uppercut. Now for the hooks, even simpler to understand, I have some people take an actual pivot, all right? So notice I'm stepping to the side, now I'm in beautiful hooking range because the first surface is flat, all right? So notice I've got the three, my lead hook. I can step to the other side, I also have my rear hook. So now if I'm straight ahead of the bag, there'll be a little modification. So I've got the, the one and the two, which you're familiar with. The three, which is the lead hook. Notice I'm still getting the hooking motion. I'm aiming from the center of the bag and I'm following through. All right, that's the three and the same idea with the four. Notice I'm still following through. And as you can see, if you're actually into Muay Thai or kickboxing, you can also throw a nice elbow on the back, all right? So notice I can have a hook. I can also translate it into an actual elbow. So I can still get all my punches. So I put them all together, all six punches. We've got the one, two, the three, the four, the five, and the six. All right, so there's your six punches on the quiet punch bag. You can throw them all. I know people ask questions about that. And again, if you think of a traditional heavy bag, it's still very difficult to get a, nice, get a nice hook on it, as well as a nice uppercut. So there's really no difference. Yes, the bag could be a little more cylindrical, but if you'll notice, you get a nice snap. It's almost like someone holding mitts for you or holding a punch shield. So that's the explanation of the quiet punch. Why I did the design the way I did. And if you have any questions, definitely feel free to email me, contact us through social media. Uh, most of the hashtags, quiet punch, our handles, quiet punch. You can also send me an email, brian at quietpunch.com. Thanks for watching.